battle. Oh my god. What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy okay, Q and man. Hey, y'all know the vibes. Hold on. Alright, now hold on, bro. Hold on for that now. Now y'all y'all probably don't know the vibes because I never did one of these, especially in my Hellcat, because y'all probably even know I got a Hellcat, but yes, I have a Hellcat. And I rarely post it because truth be told, I'm supposed to be selling it. I need to sell it, but it got a couple little kinks I gotta work out, man. So right now, I got like an hour drive to go take it to this this uh, mechanic that I'm about to work with. Cause man, let me tell y'all, bro, it's so hard to find good people to work on your cars out here. Bro, it's ridiculous, bro. So if you got a good shop or a good person, hey man, hold on to them, cause what? Boy, 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 it's ridiculous. Like, I got some shops that I can work with, but they got all my other cars. So, yeah, man, we about to go test it out. See if they the one. You know what I'm saying? See if they, if they the one that's going to work on my car and get it right. Or if I'm going to have to find somebody else. But uh, I got a pretty good recommendation, man. They came from somebody who definitely is trustworthy. And he's an M5 owner or M8 owner now. So, he don't play that. You know what I'm saying? Especially about his car. So, I know... But yeah, man, POV video, man. What's the topics? What we on today, man? What we talking about today, gang? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, let's get deep, man. I'm just, this just a one-on-one -on -one with me to y'all, man. But the POV style, man. So, first off, man, let me, let me just tell y'all, man. Let me just tell y'all. Y'all know I'm always saying I'm so grateful for y'all. Bro, I mean that shit. Like, I really rock with y'all. Like, damn, bro. My supporters, bro. I haven't realized that I really have been doing it. Oh, mosquito in here. Oh, hold on. Get your ass out. Damn, I knew I just got bit. What the hell? Tow my ass up. Man, anyway, I've been doing this for... Oh, yeah. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I've been doing this for like five years now, which is crazy, bro. It's crazy to me to think I've been creating content and modifying cars and just building my channel and portfolio for five years now, bro. Like, damn. So, you know, when me and Quan was talking the other day, he was like, bro, the only reason why I be saying aunt to you all the time is because I used to watch you when I was a kid. I'm like, what you mean when you was a kid? He like, bro, when I was 17, 16, I was watching your videos. And I'm like, well, how old you is now? I think he like 20, 21. So that was about like three years ago. So I guess it do make sense because three years ago is when I kind of really started like kind of popping off, like having some videos go viral, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a controlled platform, like, like how I got now, but it definitely was when I started like going viral and especially the TikTok wave, you know what I'm saying? When TikTok was really popping, like TikTok was popping. So I guess it makes sense why you call me, um, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, man, y'all nigga shit. But yeah, man, I just want to say I'm very grateful, man. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. And every day I'm over here trying to figure out what I could do to make y'all happy, man. So right now I'm working with, with this lady and we are developing this app for y'all. And pretty much on this app, I'm going to be able to teach y'all things, man. So y'all always asking me stuff. Y'all always asking me for like knowledge and okay Q how'd you do this you know how'd you become a jeweler how'd you get into content you know what I'm saying fatherhood everything so really I need y'all to take a second leave me a comment and let me know what topics do y'all want me to discuss man because this app is gonna be called school and I'm pretty much gonna be you know teaching y'all things it'll be like a membership like y'all sign up and you'll have different levels and I pretty much be talking to y'all about different things man about you know whatever y'all want to know y'all want to know about how i lost weight what's the journey to losing fat what's the trick what's the key what's the finesse i'm gonna give y'all all that all my keys you know what i'm saying y'all want to know how i built my jewelry business how did i build a hundred thousand dollar jewelry business you know what i'm saying or say for instance how did i build a hundred million dollar following you know what i'm saying a dollar hundred million views on youtube 100 million views on tiktok 100 million views on instagram you know what i'm saying what did i do what formula did i use that could possibly work for y'all like you know what i'm saying it's different for everyone but what did okq do 
and you know I was real hesitant on doing this type of thing because I don't want to sell nobody no dreams you know what I'm saying like I don't want nobody thinking like oh you know what I'm saying this what OKQ said and it gotta work I want people to know that you know you gotta put the work in and it's not always guaranteed but this is what I did this is what I think works you know what I'm saying this is my method and you know if you put the work in it can work for you too so I definitely want to you know what I'm saying get into that and let people know like this is what I'm doing this is what's going on and you know let y'all decide if it works for you because it's countless things that I did or still do that I'm pretty sure a lot of people can resonate with like yo that makes sense you know what I'm saying I should do that too or oh I didn't know you did that maybe I should try that blase blase so that'll kind of be the goal for you know creating this whole thing man and just you know being able to have these convos with y'all and be able to get feedback and actually communicate with my community so y'all could let me know what's working like okay Q I tried your fat loss program bro it's been two months I'm down 20 pounds Yo, okay, Q, you know, I, I went, I did what you did content-wise. You know, I start, I went and got this dash camera. I went and got this camera. I posted at these times. I did this amount of work. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the third. And, you know, I can actually get real feedback. Then on top of that, the community is going to be there for everyone. So not only will you talk to me, you'll be able to talk to other people who are essentially on the same thing you want. So other people who want to create content or other people who want to, you know, lose weight or build a following or become a jeweler or whatever you want to do. So, it's definitely something that, you know, I think you guys will love and I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out for like six months and, you know, it cost me a hefty price to set this up, man. Like to get this program going and, you know, actually get it in motion, but I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it and, you know, if I don't get positive feedback on it, then we'll move on to the next thing. But it's something that people have definitely been asking me about. Like, yo, you need to offer some type of course, man. You got to start, you know what I'm saying, giving people ways to get through life. And I'm just like, I ain't no messiah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no teacher. Like, I don't want people depending on me. Like, oh, I went and did this. Okay, Q said it, it didn't work. So that's kind of what I was afraid of. But in reality, it's like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Just because it, it might not work for everybody. It might work for 10 people. And if it worked for 10 people, then it, then it was a success. You know what I'm saying? It's 10 people that I could have changed their life. I could have helped. So, yeah, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that. You know what I'm saying? Give me feedback. My Instagram is orangeking26 if you want to directly message me. and You know what I'm saying? Give me your opinion on it. And that, he just, I got my boy following me. He just, just went around me like, bro. Well, am I driving too slow? Am I driving the cat too slow? Is that, oh, people cut me off. It's like that out here in these streets, huh? Okay. But anyway, man, yeah. So with this cat, man, pretty much this cat was originally a 2017 Charger RT. And pretty much my buddy did a Hellcat swap with it. And he swapped everything, you know what I'm saying? Seats, motor transmission everything so when i got it pretty let me get out the rundown he had the car he modified it up had it good did the hellcat swap then somebody stole it so when they stole it he recovered it he was like bro i don't want nothing to do with this car no more like he's i'm just over it you know what i'm saying i'm about to buy me a uh, durango so i was like hey i'll buy it from you bought it straight out the lot you know out the uh the tow yard lot <laughs> so i got it from him and when i got it it did have a little small problems from the people who stole it. It had wires everywhere. One of the headlights was messed up. The transmission was like like lagging. So I bought a brand new transmission, bought these crazy headlights, uh, got all the wires fixed up, put the hood on it, put the wide body kit on it, wrapped it, uh, did the whole inside, added ambient lights, added stars, added wheels, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thinking about tuning it. That's where I'm in the process of right now, if I should tune it or not. But pretty much did everything. And now I'm at the point where I got it because I was like, this could be my next giveaway car. But everybody's been telling me for the next giveaway car, they wanted to be a BMW. So 
I'm kind of trying to get another BMW, if not just do one of mine. But right now I only have two, the M6 and the M5. And boy, both of them my babies. So I don't know. But now the goal is kind of just to go ahead and just sell this. Let somebody else have it, you know what I'm saying? They can start building off of it. You only got 64,000 miles. And I mean, it's a pretty good car. I done, changed, I done fixed almost everything on it. And I'm about to take it to my guy now to see if anything else has any problems so I can get the pass emissions, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards. So that's what's in the works now. And the goal is to sell this and then pay off my TRX. You know, I owe like 50K left on the TRX. The TRX cost me 100,000. 100,000 on a truck. I owe 50K on it. So I'm trying to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely trying to get recovered, get back right from that. So. That's the whole point of me selling it. But yeah, man, we're gonna we gonna just vibe out, man. We're about to listen to the car, man. Get some cool things. on in the room complete darkness unless i'm sleeping with my shorty don't sleep with my shorty and i ain't got no choice because she the opposite i'm all she want to sleep with the damn tv on with the lights on but if i'm dolo bro i need complete darkness i go on youtube and i type in black uh black screen lightning and thunder music i mean not thunder but sounds bro i put that rain on with the thunder black out the room oh my god bro it's like i'm in a rainforest bro and no matter how up I am, I'm gonna go to sleep on me. That shit just put me to sleep like a baby. Like, for real. So, yeah, if y'all ever having a hard time sleeping, that's what I recommend, man. Definitely do that, man. Dang, this sun bright. Y'all even see, y'all probably can't even see the kid. Hold on, man. Let me try to get some sun out here. How about it? Is that better, y'all? Currently, seven. Oh shit! Okay, I car. Seven fifty in Georgia, and you know, this this what it looks like. It's usually a little. It's usually not traffic after seven. It might be a little bit of traffic, but it's pretty smooth right now for the most part. But man, let's let's talk Kendrick and Drake. Man. Let's get into the topic of this video. Kendrick and Drake. First off, first off. I'm one of the people that was pissed at J. Cole, bruh. Because when this beef popped off, all I wanted was J. Cole versus Kendrick. Why did I want J. Cole versus Kendrick? Because I felt like it would be a fair fight. It wouldn't be no like no like no secret BS, no drama. It would have been a straight battle of bars or exhibition. It would have been nice. But when J. Cole backed out, I was pissed. I was like, bro, what? Bro, we just took a major hit for the light skins. Like, why would you back out? Well, boy, oh boy, do I understand why he backed out. Cause man, oh man, this shit got crazy. And I can see J. Cole being like, bro, this too personal for me. Y'all beef too personal, bro. I'm not about to get in between this and y'all got like real deal hatred for each other. It's not like y'all competing. Like, J. Cole wanted to compete on some, like, who the best. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Steph Curry versus Dame. Like, they just want to see who's the best shooter. But then you might have somebody else come. Like, nah, I don't like Steph. I, don't, I really hate him. Like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? And then Dame might really hate him, too. So, it's it's a weird situation. But now I kind of get where, you know, J. Cole was coming from. And I gained more respect for him, man. It's definitely understandable, bro. Like, you didn't want to be in the middle of no drama, and, and that's that's what's up. But let's get into Kendrick and Drake. Man. So if y'all don't know, I'm a huge Kendrick fan. Like, one of my favorite rappers, if not my favorite. Not going to lie, my favorite rapper was J. Cole. 
and then it got bumped to Kendrick, and then it was Drake. That was kind of the vibes I was on. Now with everything, oh, dang on. What the fuck was that? It's just like a rocky. Now with everything that was happening, I kind of reverted to my list being Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Cole got bumped down the list. But I love Kendrick, bro. Like, he's just always spoke to me. And I'm not from Compton. I ain't from out there. I'm from the A. So I resonate more with, like, a future than anybody. And Drake. You know what I'm saying? I resonate with Drake. But Kendrick just always been, like, one of the ones I'm like, damn, bro. He just, he just that guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's just solid, bro. He's solid. He mean what he say. And he's just the, one of the best rappers. You know what I'm saying? I do think... Uh, Wayne is one of the best rappers alive, but I mean, Kendrick is the best lyricist. He's just, hands down, the best rapper of our time. Sorry about the sun, y'all. My bad, my bad. We almost out. We almost out high, but we out of. And then we jump to Drake. Now, Drake? Hey, man, it's Drizzy, bro. I relate to Drake, too, man. He light-skinned. You know what I'm saying? He old lover boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I rock with the vibe, and I've always been a big Drake fan as well. I always put Drake and Kendrick on different pedestals, but they was up there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, somebody recorded me. Okay, hey. It's crazy getting people to record this car. Nobody even know I got this car. I know this car just might be fine. Well, it might be, or maybe something hanging off or something. I'd be pissed. <laughs> All the time they're trying to help me. They're like, hey, bro, something wrong with your car. But, um, yeah, back to what I was saying, though, man. So, Drake and Kendrick, man. Oh, okay. Hey, vibe check. They go down. I got duct tape on the car. So, yeah, I got duct tape on one of the flares because it was acting up. They gonna, that shit going to be in the video. Anyway, y'all, vibe check, vibe check, my bad. So, yeah, when it comes to Drake and Kendrick, man, both of them on that pedestal for me. Now, I relate to both of them. I probably related to Drake a little more originally. Just because he was light skinned, lover boy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I get it. I respect the hustle. I respect the mentality. Well, I can't say I respect the mentality. Drake kind of lost it for me when he started just. And I don't know how to say this without being a hypocrite because I can't say when he hopped on the young wave. Because ain't nothing wrong with hopping on the wave with what the young is doing out here and, you know, just adding your touch to it. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. All that painting your nails. You know what I'm saying? Perming your hair. You know, just being less masculine. Plus, he went to Andrew Tate. And you know, I'm a huge Tate fan. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of like lost a lot of respect for Drake in that aspect. Now, musically, I still rock with him. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. He, he make good music. You just can't deny him. He makes good music. I don't really like MB, but he's a good basketball player. He's just good. You just can't deny him. But, you know, the character he became, uh, like Kendra said, I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. Because he acting tough, but then he also does this, you know, feminine stuff. And, you know, I come from nothing. I come from the bottom. So I resonate more with that aspect of life. I didn't have parents. I didn't have a trust fund. I didn't have money. I didn't have family. I came from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like, really started from the bottom. Now we here. Like... Like, this shit's really here. Like, it's a real deal thing for me. So, you know, Drake kind of lost me when he went down that route. Now, you know, hey, power to him. I still listen to his music. I still think he's fire. But Kendrick has always been, like, one of my favorite rappers. Like, I've always been rocking with Kendrick, Joyner Lucas. Those are my guys. So when the beef happened, I'm like, Ken, uh, Drake don't know what he's getting himself into. And he do. That's why he tiptoed around Kendrick's name. And made sure to never directly go with him. They took for Kendra to actually go with him direct for him to actually fight back. And at this point, it's like, get up! Get up, Drake! Like, bro, I'm sorry. He just can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kendra. Now, you know, at the end of the day, Drake, <laughs> Drake hard, you know what I'm saying? No diddy. He hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, Push Up was a nice track. It, had, it was a hit. It was definitely a hit. It was a banger. Oh my goodness, these streets. But if we talking bars, come on, bro. Let, let's get serious here. 
Like, Kendrick really came with a double, triple contundrum, like something that make you think, man. Like, that's why I like J. Cole, because J. Cole come with that snappy flow, but he do make you think. And that's what Kendrick come with. And sometimes Kendrick, it do get a little over, like, like, all right, come on, like, calm down. And Drake's more direct. He's gonna say a bar that's directly to you. Like, you're gonna resonate with it immediately. It's not gonna be something you gotta dissect. So you kinda gotta take both of them for what they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, is that what you into? Is that what you into? But when it comes to just full on bars and just lyrics, come on, bro. The boy is not messing with Kendrick. I'm sorry. And it's been it's been proven in his battle. Oh my God, <laughs> bro! Not in the middle of the vlog, bro. Come on. Just came off the whip in the middle of the vlog. What just happened, bro? That shit is crazy. Like, I don't even know what, like, what? I hit a pothole over with. Bro, what is happening, bro? This fender loose, but I guess it should be good. Way going all the way down there to get it. I need somebody to put my wide body kit on the right way. Camera fail, everything. What? We're gonna have to get re -rep. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that bitch slap. I ain't gonna lie. I was driving, that bitch flew off. Oh, the other one feel like it about to come off too. 